Back now in most Buffalo with a live look at the electric tower in downtown Buffalo. Later tonight, it will be lit up in blue and yellow in honor of World Down Syndrome Day. The goal is to shine a light on those touched by Down Syndrome around the world. And right now in studio, we have Will Monshine. He's the board president of Gigi's Playhouse here in Buffalo. Will, thanks for being here, especially because you have a very special event happening in less than an hour. So extra thanks for making the time. Tell us about the event and, and how you'll be celebrating at Gigi's. So today is World Down Syndrome Day. It's once uh, every year on this day, uh, the whole world comes together to celebrate individuals with Down syndrome. What it is, is when you have Down syndrome, you have a third copy of the 21st chromosome. So 321, March 21st. So we're having a big old party down at our playhouse. Um, we're going to have a DJ, have some music, have just a, basically a good old fun time. And celebrate we, everybody there. Yeah, well, we just saw uh, Gigi's Playhouse. Where is it? When did you open? And, and what's it all about? So it's at 326 Kenmore um, in Buffalo. We opened in 2020. We were shut down by COVID. We opened, closed, opened, closed, and then stayed open. <laughs> yeah. um, so this would be sort of our anniversary. And what it is is we're the only nationwide network of Down Syndrome Achievement Centers. We offer 100% free services, programs, supports, everything to individuals with Down Syndrome and their family and the community at large. And is that individuals of all ages with Down Syndrome? Oh yeah, there's no aging out. It's from literally prenatal diagnoses all the way through adulthood. And how important is it for those families to be able to build connections with other families that have that in common? It can't be stated. I mean, it's so important. When we when my, we found out about my son, my wife was pregnant, and there weren't there wasn't anything like this around, and it was very very lonely. So it's a very tight knit community. People they always say young kids come to the playhouse for the programs, the adults come to hang out with their friends. It creates a whole community. It's a safe place. It's a place that they can just hang out and be themselves. And we are providing life skills, educational skills, therapeutic skills, all the way through adulthood. And how's your daughter doing now? Good, very good. Oh. Um, about just turned eight. So. And she'll be at the party? Yep, oh yeah. So you're heading there now. Again, Absolutely. Gigi's Playhouse. How can people get involved, learn more about the mission, and help support? So you can go to our website, ggsplayhouse.org slash buffalo, or they could come tonight, and we could talk all about it. Um, we're always looking for volunteers, always looking for support. We have programs that go seven days a week, um, individual programs, group-based programs. It's all free of charge. Just sign up and come out. And again, this is a national organization, yep. but this is our local chapter of it. And, and well, how, how important is it to see the landmarks? Um, the electric tower will be lit up and everything. It's out. It's that's outstanding. This is our third year doing it. We, you know, our saying is there's no better way to support and sh th this community than to actually shine a light on them. So we'll have City Hall, the, the electric tower, Niagara Falls, you name it. Everybody's in partnership with the Buffalo Lit Program. I so it. it's going to be great. Again, blue and yellow to show your support. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thanks for explaining the meaning behind it. 321. We appreciate it so much. Will Monshine, board president of Gigi's Playhouse of Buffalo. Uh